I'm June Judd. I'm a junior from Millard South. Hi, I'm Raven Cranny. I'm a uh, freshman from Millard South. And this, is our and this is our poem, Prophet Syndrome. Trigger warning for suicide, prejudice, and profanity. The sharp crack of a pistol goes off. And blood spills onto the floor. Imagine just for a second. A trans teenager swallows the muzzle of a firearm. She found her dad's gun in the closet and decided to take her own life. A new law in her state made it illegal for her to be herself. Her mom would come to find her draped over her desk chair. She'd break into tears as her dad would simply stand there and think, looking for attention. Even in death, she couldn't catch a break. You see, the governor of her state was anti-trans, and he stopped at nothing to get rid of trans, trans culture. Trans culture is beautiful. He would hardly bat an eye at something like this. Right-wing politicians just love taking advantage of those who are lower than them. They sit in their offices thinking, how can I ruin the lives of minorities today? Ban gay marriage, ban critical race theory, force someone to give birth, put a parent in jail because they supported their trans child. That actually happened. They laugh at the little people as their fascist regime grows in power. They're just being good Christians though, right? Ron DeSantis, Jim Pillen, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump. The girl's name was Zoe, by the way. Zoe are worth protecting. She never bothered them. She never even talked to them. But they were so offended by her existence, they had plans to kill her behind a dumpster. To Zoe, the way out was a revolver. Guess the boys got what they wanted. And so did the Republican Party. They'd rather this happen than teach kids about pronouns. They claim telling people about trans folk is indoctrination, while hypocritically wanting to put church back into schools. Trans people have done nothing to anyone. A community that is so loving and caring deserves to see the end of high school. Trans kids just want to be seen as who they are on the inside. In America, there have been over 150 mass shootings in 2023 alone. There are millions of homeless people. You can't even live off of minimum wage, but, but what, what are, are we, we gonna, gonna do about, about the, the queers? queers? There are political ads saying, stay away from the radical transgender agenda. All, All we, we want, want is, is to, to be accepted. accepted. It's so easy to say, I don't care about politics when they don't affect whether you live or die. They, they may claim to love the people, but when it comes down to it, they'd rather kill a child than spend 10 minutes on Google looking up some common sense. But that's too much for them. Uh, poor little Republicans. Be careful not to hurt their feelings. And they call us snowflakes. Kids like Zoe are nothing to them. A small inconvenience in ex insignificant speck. None of them can accept the fact that people are living differently than them. It is hard enough to be trans in this country. Trans women are women. Trans men are men. Don't, Don't even get us started on how they treat non-binary people. Zoe was just one case in many thousands across the nation. New, new anti-trans bills are being passed almost every single day across, across the, the country. country. More anti-LGBTQ bills have been proposed in 2023 than in the last five years combined. A CPAC speaker said transgenders must be eradicated. As a reformed Jewish woman, I can't help but think this feels a little too familiar. We just want to go to the bathroom in peace. Trans women are being killed in the streets. Suicide rates among trans youth are skyrocketing. Zoe's blood is on their hands. How, How many, many more people, people have to die before, before we open, open our eyes? eyes?